Hi friends and welcome to Finishing the Score where you can follow along with my musical theater writing and songwriting journey and I share the resources and tips I'm learning along the way. In today's episode we will be talking about notation software versus digital audio workstations and whether you should compose music in one or the other. Now let's define what these both are. Notation software programs allow you to create and edit sheet music. Some of the most common and well-known ones are Finale and Sibelius, but you might also be familiar with Dorico, MuseScore, or NoteFlight. A digital audio workstation, or DAW on the other hand, is a software program that allows you to edit audio rather than sheet music. It's designed for recording, editing, or mixing audio tracks. Some of the most common ones include Pro Tools, Cubase, Ableton Live, Reason, Logic, and on the less expensive side, GarageBand and Reaper. I personally use and love Cubase, although I highly recommend Reaper for anyone who is trying to get in uh, with a digital audio workstation at a low budget. But wait, wait, wait. You may be asking, can't I write music without software? Do I really need a computer to write songs? Um, you're right. You don't need a computer to write songs. I put together this little chart showing us the different tools that we can use to help us write music. On the vertical axis, I have um, on the top, digital, and on the bottom, analog. So those are our software versus um, non-software solutions. And on the horizontal axis, we have audio on the left and notation on the right. So you can sort of think about, before there were computers, um, on the right-hand side, we have notation software and sheet music, paper, and pencil. I'm focusing my discussion today on the top two quadrants of the chart to focus on the notation versus audio side of composing, uh, but you could just as easily apply most of these arguments to the bottom side of the chart as well. Both notation programs and DAWs have their advantages and own unique capabilities. Let's take a look a little bit closer about why you might choose one over the other to write your music with. All right, here we've got a list of some of the pros and cons. So one of the, the biggest advantages for digital audio workstations over notation software is that you can record both audio and MIDI, whereas you only can record MIDI in a notation software. You can record vocals on a digital audio workstation to capture lyrics, uh, but if you wanted to write down your lyrics, you, you generally have to do that in a notation software rather than a digital audio workstation. Since digital audio workstations are designed for mixing, you can apply effects like EQ and reverb, but those effects are not available in a notation software. There's just two different forms of editing for MIDI notes. Uh, digital audio workstations, you're generally going to be working in a piano roll view versus a notation software, you'll be in a more familiar sheet music if you're familiar with reading music. So depending on your style, you may actually find that you prefer writing in a sheet music setting because you have a background in that. And in both programs, you'll be able to edit articulations and dynamics. In the notation program, you'll be able to use the standard sheet music uh, symbols for those. And in the digital audio workstation, you're generally going to be editing specific MIDI data to get what you want. One big advantage of the digital audio workstations over notation programs is you've generally got a wider variety of instrumental libraries that you can work with, and it's easier to work with them than in a notation program. You still have instrumental libraries that you can use in notation programs, it's just harder to get a diverse set of sounds. Another difference is that in a digital audio workstation, you're going to get a much wider uh, ability to do some mixing. There's definitely mixers in notations programs that allow you to adjust the relative volume levels of the instruments, but you're going to get much finer control uh, in a digital audio workstation than in a notation program. And one of the biggest differences between the two is what the final product is. In a digital audio workstation, your final product is going to be an audio track. On the other hand, if you are passing sheet music along to the next person, then maybe you will want to work in a notation program. One advantage that a notation program has is that you can export a MIDI track. It doesn't have vocals in it, it's all of the instrumental of what you did, but if you pass that along with your sheet music that has lyrics on it, um, that can be a good way for you to communicate what you're getting at with your music without having to work in the digital audio workstation. Now that we've taken a look at these differences, let's talk about two distinct reasons why you would want to use these software programs. The first one is getting your ideas down as part of your musical composition process, basically capturing the ideas that you're composing into a complete and finished song. And the second is 
sharing your finished song with the person who will see it next, whether that is a collaborator, a producer, um, your friend for feedback. Uh, those are the two different reasons why you would want a notation or a digital audio workstation program. These two modes are actually often at odds with each other, and for that reason I found it a little bit challenging when I started writing this current musical to decide whether I wanted to compose inside the notation program or inside a digital audio workstation. But what it really comes down to is you want to find a program that allows you to, as fluidly and quickly as possible, get your ideas down on paper so you don't have to waste energy thinking, how do I enter what my idea is into the program? Because all of the time that you're wasting just trying to figure out how to enter your ideas, you're not actually creating additional content. So, for example, if you were raised in a classical music setting and you're very comfortable with sheet music, reading music, um, that world is probably going to be a more fluid place for you to enter your music. Whereas if you have never seen a digital audio workstation before, it can be very intimidating to see all the tracks and see the mixer. On the other hand, if you're a person who has never read sheet music before and is very comfortable um, coming up with or improvising ideas or coming up with loops and grooves, um, then you might find that it's actually easier for you to come up with song ideas inside the digital audio workstation than in the notation program. On the other hand, you need to also be thinking ahead about what it is that you need to deliver to the person down the line from you. Are you able, if you're working in a notation software, to communicate the audio that you need to the next person in line? Is a MIDI file out of the notation program sufficient? Or do you need a more well-produced audio recording? If so, you might actually have to work in both. You can write your song in the notation program and then put it in the digital audio workstation when you're ready to share a demo. Alternately, if you find that it's actually faster to write your song in the digital audio workstation, you might keep your song in there and only when you're ready to actually share it with musicians and teach them how to play it would you write sheet music for it in the notation software. And that second way is the way I actually prefer to work. I find that it's much easier for me to figure out how to lay out a song and restructure and try new things in the digital audio workstation than it is for me in the notation software. In short, both the digital audio workstation and notation software programs have their pros and cons, and it really comes down to how you want to work in your creative process, and two, what product do you need to pass along to the next person in the workflow. And once you've thought through those, you can really make your decision as to whether you want one or the other, or maybe both. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to follow along with my musical theater writing journey, please hit subscribe. All right, thank you so much, friends, and see you next time. Bye! Finishing.